Good morning and welcome to another video. Today we are at the Arcade Warehouse in Doncaster. This is the UK's newest um, free play arcade sort of establishment where you pay a single price and then you go into um, an arcade and everything's set to free play. So we've come to the one in Doncaster which is Arcade Warehouse and um, they've got four sites nationwide um, and it's the newest one in the UK as I said. So we're going to take a look inside. It is based in the centre of Doncaster, city centre and it's um, on High Street where all the shops are and everything. So I'll show you where it is. This is the main High Street and then you've got Arcade Warehouse just there. So you pay £10 £10 entry per person, under fives are free, and you get a two hour session. So long, but what it is, um, and in your two hour session, you can play on anything in there you like. Every single thing is set to free play. So we'll take, we'll take a look inside and see what's there. So. Right, so that's where you come in. You come in the doors there, the main entrance. You pay the guy there, or you, you tell the guy that you've pre booked. £10 for a two hour session and then everything inside is set to free play so you've got all your shooters, your racers, uh, there's a big Tomb Raider game there. I will go around everything and show in detail which, what games are here. And like I said you basically just press the start button and then you start playing the game. There's no additional cost once you're inside which I guess for £10 for two hours is really good value. Uh, but there is two floors to it. This floor's got all the games on it, all the pool tables and the air hockey, the VR sections in the corner. Uh, the computers are down this way. This is the PCs. The two kids are currently playing Fortnite. They spend hours at home on Fortnite and they've decided to come to a, a day out to play oh. Fortnite. Is mummy playing it? Are you playing Fortnite? Yeah. I don't know. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> right, so that's the cafe area with the seating area as well. Look at the uh, menu. So. The menu, this is the VR section, virtual reality, air hockey, and, uh, there's some machines in here that I've not actually seen before, um, basketball, this is where you'd usually win tickets because there is a ticket slot there, um, but obviously you don't win tickets on this one, there's no prizes, you just press start, times down and then you see what score you can get. There's a lot of racing ones. This one's turned off. There is a couple that are not working, but there's many, many others that are. So, Fast and the Furious. Virtual racing. So it's good that you've got a lot of two players as well, so you can compete with whoever you've come with. Uh, it's always a bit more interesting if you're, uh, if you're against somebody that you're with. I find Dream Raiders. We did play this one. Jungle. A jungle shooter. There's a dark escape. 4D. We'll take a look inside um, when people are not in them. So there's Ghostbusters as well. This is all on this first floor, and then the second floor upstairs is the. Um, well, I've never heard of it before, but it's apparently nine hole crazy pool. So we'll go have a look at that. I'll go check out upstairs and then I will pop back down and have a little bit more detailed look at what games there is. So I need to find how you get upstairs. Now I think it's... Oh yeah, there, that's upstairs. So we'll go upstairs and have a look. Let's go upstairs. 
So it's all glow in the dark arrows. Like I said, I know some of the VR stuff isn't working, um, which is a massive shame because that was one of the main reasons we came. Um, but there's plenty of other things, and like I said, for ten pounds for a two-hour session, um, you'd spend more than that if you was at the arcades playing on things. So this is the crazy pool. I think we're going to come up with the kids and have a look at crazy pool and we'll give it a go. That looks quite cool. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll pop back up. I'll come back up with them uh, and we'll play some crazy pool. Do you want to go have a look at the crazy pool? Well, there's nobody up there at the minute. We can just play it. Maze, do you want to come and play the crazy pool upstairs? Come on. I want to have a game of the air hockey. There's uh, three different air hockey tables. Two of these ones, two of these football themed ones, and then the Sonic one over there. Two pool tables, two standard pool tables down here, and then we'll look at the crazy pool upstairs. Have you done this that where you have to smack it? Let's see what we get. Should we see what we all get? Yeah. You can only eat green, you can't eat red. If you eat red, it takes points away. So you smack it when it's green and you kick it. You've got to look at it, that's the point of it. See it. <laughs> you done better than last time. Red takes a point away, green adds a point. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is the uh, VR area, the virtual reality area, um, and I've just asked him and he said there's two things that are working currently, the VR agents working and the VR infinite battle which the two kids are playing on now, that's working, but unfortunately that one that you see in all the arcades isn't currently working and that one isn't currently working either, which that one looks really cool as well. That's like a VR thing that you put the headset on and it moves up and down, the actual machine itself moves up and down and round so it's a bit more immersive. So these guys are going to be playing some VR on here now. There is a member of staff for the VR area that just sets you up, gives you a bit of a tutorial on how to use it, tells you what the game is and then gets you set up to play. There we go. So they're both set up now, they're playing a, a zombie shooter in VR. It took a few minutes for them to set this up because one, this one that Maze is on, the red one, wasn't working properly. So he's had to sort of reset it. And now they're both on playing it. It's just a massive shame that half the VR section isn't even working. Like, I think the two best things in the VR area is that one and that one. Uh, that's the one that's usually about £3 per person to play in the arcades. And that's not working, and then that one looks like the best thing in the whole um, arcade, and that's not even working. Um, disappointed in that, but we'll see what else there is, and we'll see how everything else plays. There's plenty of other things to play. There's all the racing ones down this side, and then there's uh, big arcade machines in the middle. There's shooters down the right-hand side there. There's uh, air hockey, there's a football game here. There's pool tables. Uh, There's a wrecking ball machine. Kelly's doing some wrecking. Yeah. <laughs> get the get the animals, destroy them. <laughs> Doodle jump. Can you do it, look? There you go, that's your little fella. There he is. You've got to try and get him all the way to the top. Yeah, good job. 
press the buttons, look, and try and shoot all the vegetables. Alright, so they're now on VR Agent. Well, they've got guns with this one. Ah, uh, so the mask is attached on this one. The, uh, the eyepiece, the headset, is actually attached to the gun, so you hold it against your head. It doesn't sort of rest over your head. You lift the gun up, put the headpiece against your eyes. So there is a staff member to help whenever you struggle, or if you go out of the play area. There you go. And I'll play an air hockey. Playing pool. Hit the ball in the middle. Hit the white ball in the middle of the white ball. Playing some pool. We just worked as a team, three of us. And we just got the record. Woo! That's our record. All right, come on, look upstairs. Oh yeah, there is a few more games up here, look. You're gonna play. Pick up, pick up, pool. Pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up, pool. Pull cue and then come to the counter. Look. All right, so this is on the top floor. All right, so this is the. Uh, you can have what you want. <clears throat> this is the crazy pool. So it's like crazy golf, but uh, pool. <laughs> So we'll look at all the holes. One, two. That's cool. That's hole three. Four. <coughs> five. Oh wow, are you gonna watch this buddy? So yeah, seven, eight, and nine. Seven. There is a few more games at the back here. Puzzle Bobble, Final Fight, Metal Slug. These are the really old classic games. Turtle. Oh, is that the Wreck-It Ralph? Wreck-It Ralph. Number nine. So should we start at the beginning then? Start at the beginning. Stan, isn't it? <laughs> Stan buttons. I get it in four. In four. Oh. All right, go on. Try and get it in one. <laughs> in one. In one. That's what we're going to do. It. Oh my God! <laughs> oh oh wow! Woo! <laughs> 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 <Woo! laughs> She's leaving.
this way, I'll be a bit. Oh my god, please say that was on camera. Yeah! We've got, I'll go through every game now quickly. We've got Fast and the Furious Super Bikes. And that's, that's a two player. We've got Fast and the Furious Cars. Which they're playing now. We've had the race. Family is everything. Virtual racing. Sega Rally 3. Daytona USA, that's also a two player. We got this one, what's that? Scud Race, Sega Rally, the original Sega Rally 1995, I had that for the Sega Saturn. Outrun 2, uh, Ocean Raiders, oh no, Dream Raiders, Dream Raiders. Oh, the lights have come on, that means we're nearly done. We've got the dance, dancing stage Euro mix, club car, this is an old one. And that's all the racing ones on that side. And then we've got Skill Shooter, Aliens, Extermination, Sky Riders for the little ones, Time Crisis 4. See we spent two hours here and we just we haven't played anywhere near everything so I don't think two hours is long enough if you want to get into the games. Tomb Raider, Mech Shooter, which is what I played where you shoot the bottles. Terminator Salvation, Virtual Cop 3. Max Storm. Star Wars Trilogy. There's Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Hit the green, which you've seen us play. Uh, Lucky Pong and Space Guard. The Space Guard, where you throw the balls at them and get the points. There's all your computers. Their air hockey. We didn't even get. Well, I didn't get a chance to play air hockey. Uh, Crazy Hammer. We lob these wrecking balls at the screen. Computer jump. Uh, House of the Dead 2, shooting one. Fatal Judgment. That's an old one as well. That's a shooting one with a scope. Uh, Guitar Hero there. Transformers game. Virtual Tennis 4. Uh, got Bejeweled, which is a uh, multiplayer, I think. That's a three player multiplayer game. Dead Storm Pirates Special Edition. That's a shooter one. And Ghostbusters, which I didn't get a chance to play. It's a shame I didn't get a chance to play all these. And Dark Escape 4D. What's this one then? Oh, I ain't got time to play it anyway. Um, so yeah. Cost us £40 for two hours for all of us. Like I say, under fives are free. So that is the arcade warehouse in Doncaster. Um, well worth the money, well worth £10 for two hours of play. Um, like I say, once you get in, everything's just included. So, really good. I would recommend it. If we can get the rest of the VR stuff working, I'm going to come out of here. If they can get the rest of the VR stuff working, so the whole VR offering is actually available, then it'd be even better. But um, for ten pounds for two hours of play, can't go wrong. These guys are still playing the racing. Uh, two hours has flown by, so we're going to head out now and go get something to eat. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please do hit that subscribe button, uh, pop a little like on the video, and comment down below. We've just come out of Arcade Warehouse. There's a queue now. 
for the next session that starts at 12. We do pay for two hours, we paid for 10 till 12 and they started ushering you out, turning all the lights on and ushering you out the building at about seven minutes to. So that's obviously to get everybody out for the next session to come in. But what did you think? You said there was 17 minutes left to play two car games. Yeah, I know, but that's, that's what it was. It's a shame. Did you like it though? Yeah. Two hours went quick though, didn't it? Yeah. And we played nine whole crazy pool, which I've never played before, no, so... we should have more of that in places. If we were cleaned everywhere, I don't know. It's quite cool. Yeah, it's the only place I've ever seen a uh, crazy pool. Um, so... That's it. That's the arcade warehouse then. I'd like to go try the scunny one, see if the scunny one is much different. Is no, this one's the biggest one, because it's got the upstairs, hasn't it? But, I didn't play air hockey. I wanted to play you all at air hockey. I wanted to play you all at... Yeah. Shooting. Well, after that, I played two games and I was eight and two. I think we'll have nine to. Nine and three. We'll have to go to that Leeds one. The Leeds one's got a lot more than that, hasn't it? What did you think about it, Maisie? It was really good. There was like. Well, I definitely need more time there. Yeah? But yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. What I would say, we took Albie, and obviously he's two years old. What I would say is don't take a two year old because one of us always had to hold him. Um, there's not a lot to do for that age group. Well, there's nothing really, is there? There's nothing for him to do at that age group. So it's good for these two. Uh, that one, uh, and that one, and this one, and that one, but not that one. Um, so that is the arcade warehouse in Doncaster. Good, well worth £10. Would recommend it would be even better if they get the VR offering fully up and running uh, or fixed if it's broken. But that's it, so until next time, see you on the next one. A heart speed to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We ride.